week after the Hamas massacre in southern Israel, the IDF said the army is poised to launch a wide-ranging offensive into the terrorist-controlled Gaza Strip, including coordinated attacks from the air, sea, and land. The warning added a strong emphasis on ground operations. The IDF staged localized raids into Gaza to recover bodies and items of missing Israelis believed taken hostage to Gaza or murdered. Uncovered documents from bodies of Hamas terrorists include plans to kill civilians and raid communities in Saturday's massacres. An estimated 150 to 200 people are being held hostage by Hamas and at least 1,300 were murdered. The army also announced that it killed two Hamas commanders in Gaza, one of them, Ali Qadi, a company commander in the so-called Nukba Commando Unit, led one of the murderous assaults on October 7th. He was killed in a drone strike following intelligence efforts. Ahead of the expected ground incursion, the army announced that it opened an evacuation route for residents of northern Gaza after ordering that they leave for the south. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians are fleeing south, even though Hamas are trying to block their way. IDF airstrikes and Hamas targets in Gaza are continuing at an unprecedented pace. The Hamas-run health ministry reports that over 2,200 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza since fighting began. Hamas is still firing rockets into Israel. Four people were hurt in a mortar attack on Mirim, close to the border with the Gaza Strip. A rocket was also fired by Hamas terrorists hitting Rehovot and Ashkelon, striking homes and apartment buildings. With ground forces poised on the Gaza border in the south, Israel is also keeping a watchful eye on the north. Clashes continue on the border. The IDF again struck Hezbollah positions after drones from Lebanon were intercepted over Israeli territory. Air defenses shot down three objects over Haifa. In addition, an unidentified terror cell was killed while attempting to infiltrate from Lebanon.